The war on Tigray has seen the widespread use of sexual violence to terrorize and humiliate women and girls in Tigray. Many were held captive for days as Ethiopian and Eritrean soldiers took turns raping them. In a report issued in August of 2021, Amnesty International would say the violence committed on Tigrayan women was done with the intent of inflicting lasting physical and psychological damage on women and girls. Latavrahan is one of 1.2 million Tigrayans displaced from Western Tigray. She says Amhara Militia and the Fano, a vigilante group, took her and two other women and raped them for several days. The Fano would tell us they wouldn't allow for our bodies to be buried, let alone let us go on living. They told us the Grians don't deserve to exist. They tied our hands to the back. It was so tight that no blood could circulate. There were three of us in one place. They took us to a remote area and took turns raping us for nine hours. Despite the unspeakable violence she experienced, Latabrahan says that after a day's long journey, she was able to make it to Shira in northwestern Tigray. And while she was able to escape her captives in western Tigray, she has not been able to escape the many impacts of the violence committed on her body. I was bleeding non-stop for two months and I suffered from pneumonia and other illnesses. I had serious issues with my uterus and I suffered a lot. She says health professionals are trying their very best to treat her and others like her. Despite a nine months long siege on Tigray, that has resulted in a severe lack of medication and medical supplies. There are many people by my side. They encourage me not to lose hope and support me. Health workers counsel me and they try their best to provide me basic health service to reduce the complication in my uterus. This is despite severe shortage of medicine and medical equipment. The torment of survivors of sexual violence in Tigray has been exasperated by a lack of access to medical assistance. A true process of healing for survivors of sexual violence requires access to essential health care needs, including termination of pregnancy, treatment for HIV and hepatitis B, as well as other physical traumas caused due to the violence and support for depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress. Impossible as the Ethiopian government continues to impose a siege that has depleted medical supplies that has taken millions to the brink.